Afternoon, guys. I uh, got some new stuff to show you uh, for for today's video. Um, I think I'll probably uh, break this up into a few different videos. So um, let me uh, get some snow cleared off on this log here. We'll take a seat and let's get to it. All right, guys. We're back with this next piece of equipment. And this next piece is the Kamenga Military Lensatic Compass. Alright, this is the instruction booklet for it. Um, you know, it has, has all of the uh, you know, indicators on it of what's what. Um, it has a definition of, of everything. It has you showing how to take an azimuth. Sighting one and everything, and setting a course. Got a few different uh, methods of doing that. Has a little bit of declination adjustment. All right, talking about orienteering a map. Cool stuff. So I originally got the compass, and it came with. Uh, let me tilt this up a little bit. So I originally got the compass, and it came with a. Uh, well, obviously the compass, it came with a lanyard. It uh, came with one of those old olive drab uh, um, compass cases, compass pouches. And then it came with an Alice clip, plus the, the instruction booklet. And here's the, uh, here's the, the uh, pouch, all right? You can see it says US right there. Um, drainage hole, obviously it's olive drab. Um, here's the slots, and you put your, your uh, Alice clip through there, and it's just, it's just a button, alright? It's just a button that holds it shut, okay? And I thought, well, you know what? Um, those pouches, I think they're going to be alright, but I'm worried that after a while, that, that button as you can see, it's pretty strong right now, but I'm worried after a while that that button might um, lose its its strength because I've had another one of these and it's certainly lost its strength. So I'm worried that um, this one might lose its strength too. So I went ahead and bought another one, which unfortunately didn't come with it. it it's a Molly pouch, but it didn't come with the Molly attachment. It only has the webbing. So luckily I just took the Alice uh, clip off and put that on the back here. So use the Alice clip. But um so this is the new pouch that I got. So you can see it's a uh, well, it's nylon, it's Molly compatible, all right? We um we got a, a buckle here, a Fastex buckle here. All right? And that's on a piece of elastic cord. And then it's also velcroed shut. So now I know this thing isn't going to accidentally come then on the inside of there, ooh, there's the compass. All right, so here it is, Kamenga Model 3H. All right, this is the tritium model. <clears throat> Got our thumb loop here. There's the sight here. We got our one to fifty thousand meter scale right here. All right. Got our sighting wire right there. Like I said, sight. There's the compass face on it. it does have the rotating bezel. All right, as we can see. And as I said, this is the tritium model. So the cool thing about that is that this point here, this point here, the um, this I'll see if I can this piece of the bezel right here, all right, right there, that green piece, west, east, north, and a piece right at the uh, top are all tritium. And the cool thing about the tritium is that. 
and has a uh, has a half life of roughly 10 to 12 years. So the company says expect a good 10 years out of your uh, tritium because that can vary. Um, and tritium, it uh, it doesn't it doesn't need sunlight or it doesn't need any artificial light to uh, to work. So all night, every night for 10 years, you wake up, you look over at your compass, and that thing will be glowing. And you can you know open it up and you can do you know night navigation fairly easy uh, with this. Other than the fact that you really can't see where you're going, but you can see your compass easy, and you don't have to pull out a flashlight and shine it on and let it sit for 30 seconds and, and then look. You can just open it up and look. Another really cool feature about this, and I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit so we can really get a good look at this. Alright, so as we can see, the uh, it's the uh, the face is free floating right now. Alright, so it's, it's calculating where north is. When you put the sight down, that locks, and now it and now the the face isn't going to move anywhere. So I can have it, you know, like this. I bring the face up, and there it goes, calculating where north is. So that's a really cool feature that um that that locks. Just because there you go. Just because that way we don't have to worry about running around and worrying about screwing this thing up. This thing is also not liquid filled. It has no liquid in it, therefore there can be no air bubble that gets into this thing. All right, pretty cool. This is made out of aluminum, okay? Uh, aircraft aluminum, I think. Real heavy piece of kit, um, solid. Right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, there we go, right here is actually the birthday. And um, so you see 14 here, that's the day. Right here is the month, all right? So February 14th. Now, some people think, oh, well, wow, that, that, that's made in 1977. That sucks. Well, no, it wasn't made in 1977. And I know that because the tritium works. So I went on to uh, Kamenga's website the other night and I looked at what the 77 meant and this is actually a number I can't remember the specific name of it but this is a number to identify that this this particular compass was not made under a government contract Kamenga is a government contracted company they do make these for the military but this specific compass the one that I'm physically holding right now was not made for the government it was not made for the military so, if you go in the military and and you're uh, you get handed your compass, that uh, there should not be a 77 there because the 77 indicates that this is a civilian-made compass, and the military one is some other number that I'm not not sure of. I don't know what that number is. But anyway, um, just like with the backpack, this is a this is a preview of it. My first, my first thoughts on it. I've had this for about a week too, um, playing around with it a little bit, seeing how it, how it's working and stuff, and uh, getting to a, getting acquainted with it. Um, yeah, so far, it looks like it's going to do the job. Um, I had a bit of a navigation scare over the summer, which uh, I'll tell that story in a, another video. But um, from that experience, really got me set on you know getting a compass so I got it now this should do the job pretty easy um, just need a, a map of the area now um, yeah so we'll put it through its paces and uh, check up on, on both of these pieces of, equi of equipment uh, I don't know, probably in like a month well guys that does it for Today's video, again, Marine Corps ILBE assault pack, Kaminga compass attached right here with its Alice clip. I uh, I appreciate the views you give me and any comments that you may want to want to give. Um, ask away, send me a personal message, just post on the video, whatever. Um, 
you know, thanks for, thanks for giving me this opportunity to share my knowledge this way. Uh, real excited, real excited to uh, get going on some other videos. Uh, subscribe, like, share, comment, whatever. Um, well, that's about it. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.